Welcome to this second tutorial where I will show you how to perform a nonlinear um, buckling analysis using the RIX method and uh, introducing in your model uh, some imperfection to model a more realistic structure. Now I open the model and I, um, I show you how to redo this geometry and how to set up your analysis. First of all, create the model. Now we select shell and here extrusion and uh, the approximate size is 1 because we are working in meter. Now with this tool we sketch the, the circle. With this other tool we, uh, we impose the dimension of the circle. And we want that the dimension is 0 0.25 meter down. Now the extrusion depth 0 0.5 meter and this is the geometry. We can start meshing the geometry and uh, the first uh, thing that we have to do is to use the mesh control. We select sweep, ok, and now the global seed. Uh, in this case we want to use uh, some results of our previous analysis so the number of elements and, and nodes must be the same so we use the previous global size and is 0 0.0125 and apply ok and now we can mesh the mesh is complete, as you see. Now we model, introduce the, the material, aluminum 661, and we impose just the density in kilogram on cubic meter and the elastic pro properties. The young modulus and the Poisson ratio. And now we have to model the section of the structure. As previously, we use, we use shell and homogeneous. And the thickness is constant and is 2 mm. In this case, we use meter. Now we have to assign the section to the cylinder. All is OK. OK. And now we can save the model. OK, now the model is uh, complete. We have to create the assembly. We select just one part, click OK. And now we have to create the sets, the node sets. Down nodes, nodes. We select nodes by feature and edge. This allows us to select all the nodes on the edge. The down nodes and upper nodes. OK. So now we have two sets of nodes. Now we introduce, clicking on interaction, the reference point. The first down and the other one upper. The two reference points will be the master nodes where the boundary condition and loads will be applied. 
to create this type of bundle condi condition we have to um, insert constraint but first we have to introduce the step we select the rix static step uh, rix algorithm um, help to study the instability and the post buckling behavior of your structure and solves both load and displacement during the analysis using another variable node um, named arc length we select nonlinear non, non geometry and for now we don't use stopping criteria the incrementation is one and one thousand increment must be okay have to be okay and now the constraint perfect we want to use the rigid body constraint down nodes Okay, and then the other one in the same way. Okay, so in this case we have two couple of uh, slave nodes and two reference points that are the master nodes. We apply a load to reference point 2 and this load is uh, only on z axis and is minus 1.06 this load is obtained by the uh, linear buckling analysis and this is the first buckling load the boundary condition sets no. and cast no um, degree of freedom for these nodes and another one for the second uh, reference point that uh, constrain all degree of freedom except the third the third uh, uh, degree of freedom on translation okay we save the model and now um, to introduce imperfection we have to edit the keyword is you have you can edit from the CIA or you can generate an input file and then mod uh, modify that input file um, in this case is a uh, um, really um, useful to use uh, and uh, is better to modify the, the input file by the CIA using edit keyword every keyword has an exact uh, position into the input file and using the manual we, you will understand where this keyword have to be put in this case the imperfection keyword have to be um, right uh, before the step so here add after and imperfection comma file equal battle load this, uh, this part is very important first of all is case sensitive and this uh, um, strings uh, allow to the keyword imperfection command to achieve and load I directly into your model the um, results that came from another job in this case this one back load then step equal one mean that the, um, the results uh, are applied by the first step 
step and then we have to um, introduce um, the imperfection the imperfection are superimposition of nodal displacement and in this case we take this displacement from the Eigen modes of the buckling uh, linear analysis in this case we uh, we take the first the second and third mode and we mix these results using a scaling factor that we have to apply after this comma and in this case I use um, as a scaling factor the thickness reduced of one order for example the first mode is just 2 a minus 4 and um, the second and the third have to be different or the same but this depends on uh, a particular analysis that you have to, to do during your um, analysis that consists in uh, uh, imperfection sensitivity uh, what mean imperfection sensitivity? you have to perform uh, a great number of analysis and you have to understand how the imperfection act on the behavior of your structure in this case I uh, will not perform such analysis but I use um, this method that helped me a lot uh, for a lot of time I um, use a great amount of the first mode because the first mode is the most important the second and the third mode are taken but uh, in a reducted form in this case I use this one for the second mo mode and an half again for the third mode because the I think that the first mode is the most important so will be the most representative of your imperfection pattern then the second mode is less important so the multiply factor is uh, lesser and again the third the, mul the third uh, um, multiplied factor is lesser than the second and the, and the first we can click OK and we can submit the analysis OK, the analysis is um, ended in reality I terminated the analysis and now I show you the results ok as you can see um, the structure started to buckle and obviously uh, you can see that there are um, a lot of bubble you can name them bubble on the surface before this, the structure anyway buckle uh, like the first buckling mode, and this load and and this behavior um, is present um, fifty percent of the load applied. So the nonlinear analysis showed us that the buckling load predicted by the linear analysis is very high respect to the reality. After the buckling, the first buckling mode, the structure continue, co uh, continue to deform and to sustain the load. And uh, as you can see, um, during this uh, stress concentration, a lot of uh, local deformation spread out. You can use the load propor uh, proportionality factor to see how the load is applied respect the arc length. So during the analysis, you can see in this part is linear. Then we have a different slope, and then here in this part 
after this maximum that is uh, around 0.6 that correspond to the 60% of the total load applied the start the, the structure starting to collapse and the programs or well the RIX algorithm uh, understand that the structure cannot sustain the load and so the program start to lower down the load is itself but due the um, to simply uh, type of material totally elastic so no plasticity no damage evolution introduced into this model um, the solver start to do not converge or well start to do something that is really unreality to um, increase the the model the model fidelity you can introduce the, plasti the, the, the plasticity for example as I done in this other model and uh, oh sorry one as you can see the the formation is very different and is uh, more like a common aluminium can that is compressed as you can see really high stress and after the buckling the structure start to collapse in the next tutorial I will show you how to model the plasticity uh, and damage, damage evolution and furthermore we will introduce also contact properties in this model there are no contact pro properties in fact some element if we continue the analysis will compenetrate um, and um, the, an the analysis is not really realistic but for this purpose the analysis is uh, really nice and really well uh, succeeded again as always thanks a lot for uh, your attention and uh, i hope that you enjoyed this video see you uh, in the next one